better way to start the whole entire series off here by having some breaking news about eight hours ago. Turns out the New England Patriots aren't done with their stuff. They take on Cam Newton. We're gonna go see what the uh, common warriors have to say about this, shall we say? He's already looking for Robert Kraft for his rub in the tub. All right, so it's clear and obvious that Chris Pell is feeling some sort of type of way about Mr. Newton. I highly doubt that Mr. Newton and Mr. Kraft are gonna go down to the same parlor and, you know, get, get worked up by the chicks inside the little salon, but it's 2020. Anything is a go at this point. Look, the dressing like a woman thing, I don't even know what it's about, okay? I'm not really sure what it's about. I see Chris added his little picture down below inside his comment as well, just so everyone knows what's up. I highly doubt the Chinese woman inside the parlors are gonna see that outfit come walking in and assume that they're gonna have to give him a rub down, a little something extra. It, it's, I just, I don't think that they're gonna jump all over that opportunity. But hey, you never know. Maybe cross-dressing is accepted inside that culture nowadays. I don't know. Back footed arm throws for picks are coming to Foxborough. Well, as you can see here, Mr. Nutter doesn't really seem to be the big fan of Cam Newton here. Now, I've never actually heard someone actually use the term when talking about football for back footed arm throw. Back footed arm throw makes sense if you think about it, just haven't heard the terminology a lot. What kind of last name is Nutter, anyways? Where does that originate from? Is that like nuts like you eat, or is that not like. Oh, never mind. Anyways, make sure you guys watch out for those back footed throws. Cause they're coming. Have another sports caster of the year right here. Watch out. Dwight Kermit Reader. Can't wait to see the clown playing dress up. <laughs> if you guys can only see the uh, profile picture of this guy, which I had to block out for privacy, but if you could just see, you'd know exactly what kind of guy just said this. First of all, I don't even know if it's politically correct to address people as clowns anymore, especially people of color or anyone in general. I'm just saying, if you guys saw it, Dwight, you'd, you'd, under you'd understand why. Now, I don't think he should receive so much hate for his fashion choices. Just some of his fashion choices kind of, kind of correspond with, an not really what guys would wear. It's 2020. I'm fine with it. But if you guys seen Dwight's profile picture, you could definitely tell that this is a no-go with him. I'm just saying, Dwight seems like the kind of guy that, you know, sees a um, pride flag and uh, immediately does a U-turn and drives away from it. That's all I'm going to say about his profile. Also, too, somebody tell this guy, can't wait. It's I can't wait. It's not can wait. Grammatical errors. They mean a lot. Brandon Donovan. It looked great. Eh, four to six games. In her himself. Hasn't been able to stay healthy since going vegan. <laughs> well, apparently Brandon knows stuff that everybody needs to know. Personally, I didn't even know that Cam Newton went vegan. But I don't think that getting hurt and stuff four to six weeks into the season has anything to do with being a vegan. I mean, look at Mr. Tom Brady. That dude probably, that dude won't even eat a piece of grass. He does all right for himself. I don't even know how you could consider someone's diet into how they play in a football season. When, when did that become a thing? Is that like some next gen science right here? Like that guy eats plants, he sucks? Or is it more of a, you know, morality thing? Like, you know, he's not the big strong man eating this meat, so therefore he's gonna suck on the football field. I don't know. But what I can tell you is, personally, I'll never go vegan. Cause I eat too much meat. Steaks, burgers, everything. Can't get, can't get me off the diet. Never can, never will. All right, maybe if I met the love of my life and something like that and I could only eat, you know, plants and stuff, I might consider it. Eric Lapanese. Newton is so full of himself. He's mediocre at best. Good luck with this drama queen. Well, look at Eric here, he's got a strong opinion about this. As you can see, Eric uh, gets quite a bit of reactions from the uh, community of Facebook on this comment here. If there's one thing that Bill Belichick doesn't do, he does not do drama queens. And we all can agree on that. So I don't think Mr. Newton's gonna come in with this drama queen attitude. However, I can tell you one thing though, the people of Boston are gonna have to get used to the dressing and all that stuff like that. Boston's still a little, still, still a little behind inside the social times. Boston's not gonna be so forthcoming to a man coming up inside a pair of heels and a hairdo and something like that. They ease into it a little bit in Boston. I don't speak for everyone inside of Boston, but I speak for the majority of Boston. So Cam's gonna have to do some baby steps as he walks to the podium for those uh, post-game press conferences and the pre-game announcements and all stuff like that. Come on. You can't say the guy is mediocre yet. I mean, he hasn't even taken a down for the Patriots yet. We've only seen him with one team. That's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Cost of the Show. Again, guys, be sure to like and subscribe so that way you can get all the notifications every single night, Monday through Friday. The videos are posted. Again, it's 8 on the East, 5 on the West. If you live in another country, well then, just subscribe and you'll know whatever time correlates to you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check back tomorrow for the next video. Be safe. Enjoy.